Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now today's vehicle is a 2015 Honda Civic and to be honest guys, this thing is an absolute mess on the inside. All right, just before I show you the complete disaster inside, here's what the exterior is looking like and honestly it's not all that bad except for up on the front end where there is some serious carnage from all the dead bugs. So that's definitely gonna take some effort to get cleaned up, but moving inside, and this is where most of the work will be, as besides all the dirt, dust, and debris all around the vehicle, these seats are some of the nastiest I've ever seen. Every single one is seriously stained and truly hard to even look at, but if that's not enough, the door handles are full of all kinds of gross stuff, and the fabric trim on the doors are super stained too, but just before we dive into this epic detail, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn the bell on too, so you'll never miss out on a future video. All right guys, well you have seen the car, you've seen just how bad those stains are, so sit back, relax, and enjoy seeing this car get completely transformed. All right, so getting started with the pressure washer here, and since the exterior isn't super dirty, I can get through this step a little quicker today, but for those of you who have been subscribed for a while, you'd know this is the first Honda I've had on the channel in well over a year, and it's the first manual transmission vehicle too, so this should answer the question I get asked all the time about whether all the vehicles in Canada are automatics or not. There's still a few manuals out there. Now three weeks in a row here and I'm dealing with carpeted wheel well liners again and it never ceases to amaze me at how much dirt these things are capable of holding onto. It's like a never ending fountain of mud pouring out of there. Moving up to the front and just like last week's vehicle, these bug guts have likely been on the car at least all summer, so they're super stuck on, although the pressure washer is able to cut through some of them, so that's definitely nice to see.
All right, so for the remaining bug guts, I'm spraying on some Adam's bug remover. And what this is going to do is safely start to break down and dissolve the bugs, meaning I won't need to use near as much effort to remove them when I wash the car. So not something I show very often, but when I wash vehicles, I always use the two bucket method with grit guards in both of my buckets. And if you aren't sure what those are, I've got links to them in the description, but what that means is having one bucket with soapy water and one bucket for rinsing my wash mitt, and then using a nice soft microfiber chenille wash mitt, I'll rinse or flip my mitt after each panel, of course, washing the vehicle top down. And if you follow those steps, you'll greatly reduce the chance of instilling any swirl marks in the paint and if you're wondering why I don't put my hand inside the wash mitt, it's because for one, I have more control over it, but also because I rinse the mitt so frequently that taking it off to rinse it and having to put it back on again would waste quite a bit of time. So opting for efficiency, I keep my hand out. Now getting started on drying the car and I was just as surprised as I'm sure you guys are when Mike popped out. It seems like we haven't seen him for ages and as usual he's marching to the beat of his own drum here and absolutely jamming out to the music. So on that note, since you guys have seen him in so many of my videos now, I want to know what's your best description of Mike. Let me know down in the comments and don't be too hard on him, he's pretty sensitive. Now with these floor mats vacuumed, I'll quickly get some carpet solution sprayed on and then hit them with the drill brush and simply blast them clean with the pressure washer.
All right, moving to the interior now, and the first thing to do is get these front seats out of here as it's going to be impossible to clean everything properly with them in the vehicle. And I'm also going to remove the back seat since the stains were down the sides and back too. And since it's only held in by a bolt and two clips, just made sense. Then I'll just quickly go around and pick up all the garbage and any personal items before starting on vacuuming. All right, with the car clean enough to sit in now, I'll go around with my boar's hair and ultra soft detail brushes to gently lift the dirt and dust out of all the crevices. And the reason I do this step is so that when I either wipe down the interior or use the steamer later on, I don't have loose debris to deal with and can simply wipe surfaces clean with a microfiber towel. All right, it's finally time to tackle all these super dirty and nasty seats. And starting with my carpet solution, I'll spray on a very liberal amount, and then I'll hit it with a stiffer yellow drill brush because I know these seats are going to need it. Now, not being completely satisfied yet, I'm going to repeat the process here as I can still see remnants of the stains and this time I'll let the solution sit on a little bit longer so it can really penetrate those stains before using the drill brush and making the first few passes here, you can definitely see those lingering stains are coming out.
Now in the upper portion of the driver's seat here, where the stain looks to be from sweat and body oils, the drill brush definitely has a harder time loosening that up and even using hot water in the extractor only does so much. So I'm already thinking that I'll need to use a steamer on this later on as the heat from the steam shouldn't have any trouble loosening those stains up. Alright, well probably the moment everyone has been waiting for, or at least I was anyways, but moving to the back seat now and seeing how bad these stains are, I'm not expecting them to come out without a good fight. And I actually asked the owner when they dropped off if they knew what the origin of the stains were and they told me that they've had the vehicle since it was new and also have a couple young kids who unfortunately have spilled chocolate milk in here a few times. However, that was quite a few years ago now, but in their defense, they had written the stains off as unremovable since the local Honda dealership had actually tried and said they couldn't get them out. So you can bet that that upped my motivation a little bit today to get this car looking as perfect as possible. Now on the other side of the back seat here, you can see there's two spots where there's some super stuck on candy with one of them being part of a ring pop. So for those spots, I'll use the steamer on them later on. But if you're at all curious as to what extractor I'm using here that's working absolute magic on these seats, it's a Bissell Spot Clean Professional and it's hands down the best extractor on the market at its price point. So if any of you out there have some dirty carpets or seats in your vehicle you wanna tackle, the link to the extractor, carpet solution, and drill brush is down in the description for you.
Here's a quick before and after of the back seat and boom, nearly perfect. Aside from those couple spots, I'll hit with the steamer later. Here's all the super dirty and smelly water pulled from the Civic. Gross. Now moving to the dirty and grimy center console pieces, and since most of the grime was down in the crevices by the shift boot and trim piece, it's easiest to just quickly unscrew it, and then using the brush attachment on the steamer, it takes just a few seconds to get it all loosened up, and then I'll just wipe it clean with a microfiber towel. Moving back inside and with everything clean now, I'll start applying 303's aerospace protectant to dress and UV protect all the plastic trim. And this step takes a fair bit of time as I apply it to every single bit of plastic trim in here, including inside the glove box and on the air vents underneath the seats. Now, even though I doubt the owner will ever notice it, it's just not in my nature to do a less than perfect job.
Moving to the glass now, and after spraying some Auto Finesse Crystal Glass Cleaner on a waffle weave towel, I'll take care of the top edge, and as you can see, the inside portion is really dirty, but this combo has no trouble cutting through that crud and leaving the glass with zero streaks. All right guys, and 12 very long hours later, the Civic has been completely transformed and it's looking incredible. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more awesome transformation videos like this, enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one.